hoping that this country will prosper. I want this country to be healed after years of pilferage, greed, lies and corruption. I want to know the new generation. I want the new generation to know this, that they have a hope and a future. I want to build a nation strong and proud, irrespective of race, language or religion, where the power does not belong to those who are above us, but it comes back to the people. This is a country where the people can dare to dream and control their own destinies. This is the Malaysia that we hope for, we pray for, and we can achieve. I will always be thankful that I come from a good family. My grandfather came to this country years and years ago and he worked hard to support his family and eventually built a business empire. I received the opportunity to study overseas and eventually receive a law degree from the University of Nottingham. So I am your average banana, Xiang Jiaren. You know, yellow on the outside but white in the inside. So I apologize earlier, my Chinese sounds a bit funny, but at least I try. My inspiration. My inspiration comes from my grandfather, Dato Tan Kim Ho. He had a heart truly for the community and for opportunities to be given to the less privileged. In the 1950s, he joined the NCA, Ma Hua, and using that platform, he built four Chinese schools in Kapong and Jinjiang using his own money. Of course, in typical MCA fashion, they take the credit. But for my grandfather, he did not care because he did not believe in the party. He believed in the cause and the cause is the rakyat. Until today, he continues to be the MCA chairman for Kapong and Jinjiang. So, here's the question. Why do I stand in front of you under the DAP flag? It is because the MCA has failed the Chinese community. They sold their integrity along with the MIC to AMLO. The MCA claims to represent the Chinese community, but that's not true. They represent themselves. The same is true with MIC. And of course, AMLO. They don't care about anyone else except their own rice bowls. We, this, we see this year's budget yet again. And of course, our Prime Minister is not in Parliament to debate the alternative budget. How can he claim to be a representative of the people when he doesn't listen to the people? Do they really think that because they give out 250 ringgit for smartphones and another round of Bantuan Rakyat One Malaysia that will make up for 55 years of mismanagement? They must be joking! To make things worse, we have now the largest budget deficit in the history of this nation. They underestimate the Malaysian people. We don't fall for these tricks anymore. They have blinded us for years, but now we are wiser, we are smarter. The Rakyat has woken up. Come GE 13, Barisan National will be booted out of Putrajaya. To get an idea of how corruption has brought this nation, let me tell you a story. There was once upon a time a tender to build a bridge and there were three parties to come. A Korean company, an American company and an Amno Kruni. The Korean company says, we will build this bridge for 300 million ringgit. 
Why 300 million? 100 million for design, 100 million for the actual construction, and 100 million for profit. Okay, come along the American. We bid 600 million ringgit for this bridge. Why? 200 million for the material, 200 million for the design, and 200 million for the profit. Then comes the Umno Kuni. <laughs> he comes in and he says, We bid 900 million ringgit. And then the minister says, Huh? How come so expensive? The Amno Kruni says, Hey, relax, lah, brother. 300 million for you, 300 million for me, and we get the Korean to build the bridge. Hey, we laugh, but this corruption story is real. 20,000 ringgit for a laptop. 6,000 ringgit for a pair of tools. Wow, what kind of tool it is. It's to screw the rakyat. They must be awesome. We also have submarines, diamond rings, and cows. When I was in Sarawak, I saw so many people suffering and living in poverty. This wasn't even in a kampung, but in Kuching. This is all around Malaysia and we all see it. From Orasli to the Indian community, BN has failed but instead concentrates on robbing the country blind and blaming the opposition. This is completely unacceptable, so let us send a message loud and clear to them. Vote them out! <laughs> Malaysia has fallen behind so many countries. In the 1980s, the Koreans used to be the ones coming to Malaysia to study our systems. We were the most advanced country in the ASEAN region. But look at Korea today. Hyundai started around the same time as Proton. But Hyundai is now a global brand. And Proton? Where are they now? Nothing to say also. Malu to even compare. This is embarrassing! We're now behind Thailand, Vietnam and Cambodia for foreign direct investments and I believe we don't change, Myanmar will also overtake us. What kind of country do you want your children and your children's children to grow up in? How many of your children are passionate about this country or, to, or they desire to see change? I am not here to promise you the moon and the stars. I am not here to say that I or the DAP or Pakatan Rakyat has all the answers for the nations. We have so much more to do. We have so much more to learn. But when the government works hand in hand with the people, that's where real change will happen. Look at Penang and Selangor. Even here in Perak, you have had a brief taste of what a new beginning is like under the DAP government, under the Pakatan Rakyat government. Let us have a government which is competent, accountable and transparent. I believe that true leadership is not how low people count out to you, but you as the leader have to be the servant of the people. If there's one thing, I will close with this. If there's one thing that I would like to achieve through all of this, is to help inspire the new generation to step up to the plate. I want to speak for all of those who are unable or don't dare to speak up. We are building this nation for the future generations. Let us leave a legacy that we can be proud of. Be part of this change. Uba Sekarang, Bersekan Malaysia. Thank you so much and God bless you.